This is how you log into eSpark. First of all, it's probably easier if you use your QR code that I, I put. You had one before, and you have one that was in your bag as well. If you, otherwise, if you need your username and password, you can do that. I've made up a student named George Washington, so I will just type in uh, his username and password. Most of yours, it's just your uh, first and last name smushed together. I had to put an 8 on there. There must be a lot of George Washingtons out there. And then your password is usually just two words pushed together. If you don't remember them, you can uh, ask me and I'll get that. So that's once you get in, it'll look something like this. You can pick your avatar, and then you'll pick. We're doing reading assignment this week, so you'd click on the flashing reading assignment and then make sure it says compare and contrast. Again, if you can't get in, check with me. I'll get you your username and password. So that's how you get into eSpark.